Yeah, so what can we do? Like, we Malaysian, basically, oh. policy-wise, okay. we support Palestine, right? So, yeah. what else can we do? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So, uh, the kind of support Palestine and Palestinians receive from Malaysia is good and inspiring. There is one thing that is happening around us, which is calling upon the world to be part of the boycott, divestment, and sanction. Now, of course, like people in, in Malaysia, thank God, are boycotting Israeli firms and are, you know, divesting from Israeli sir firms. They probably never invested in Israeli firms. But they are naturally involved in lack of diplomatic time. No diplomatic time. But this needs to be promoted as a form of sanctions. Because one of the most successful countries in the world in imposing sanctions at the Israeli oppressor is Malaysia. But it's never promoted as sanctions. So that's what we need. We need to uplift the position of Malaysia from no diplomatic ties to active sanctions. And when Malaysia proves to the world that sanctions on Israeli oppressors are possible, then more countries will follow. Because lack of diplomatic ties means that there will be diplomatic ties one day. You saw many corrupt regimes that go on okay. and start up normalizing, call it normalizing or starting diplomatic uh, relations with the Israeli savages. Call it the United Arab Emirates, which is supposedly an Arab country, or Jordan, or Egypt, or countries throughout Africa and Southeast Asia. Call it Singapore. <laughs> you know, all those regimes like do not shy away from supporting or having diplomatic relations with the criminal regime in Israel. Instead of waiting for the time Malaysia will become like Singapore, we need Singapore to become like Malaysia. We need Thailand to become like Malaysia. Because there is an example of successful sanctions imposed on that brutal regime that need to be generalized.